in, in the last class, I had mentioned that uh, there are two types of scaling. One is horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Do, do you remember that? The horizontal scaling refers to uh, we can increase, I mean, the vertical scaling refers to we can increase the or we can customize the specification of a hardware. For example, if this machine says it, it has uh, 100 GB of hard disk and uh, 16 GB of memory, and if some requirement comes to you know scale up, then I should increase the hard disk size of this machine from 100 GB to 200 GB. So this is a manual process which we which we are supposed to do. Whereas horizontal scaling, it's a, it, it is implemented by AWS and that can be taken care with the help of auto scaling option we have that we have seen it yesterday. Correct. So uh, horizontal auto scaling can be done with the help of auto scaling option in the AWS. Whereas vertical scaling can be done by ourselves. So, for example, let's say this is the instance I have. This is the instance I have. Now, I want to, I want to, let's say this is two to dot t two dot micro. This has one virtual CPU and one GB of RAM. Correct. As of now, I have. Just now, uh, this particular instance, right, t2.micro, what exactly it is saying? Okay. This is of 1 GB RAM and 1 virtual CPU. For example, in my case, I, I have to, you know, enhance this particular uh, configuration. For now, what I have? I have one virtual CPU, right? one virtual CPU, and one GB of RAM. Now, if, I if my requirement is to upgrade this already existing instance, I should not recreate one instead, I should update the configuration of this one. So if, if my requirement is to have uh, five uh, virtual CPUs and 16 GB of RAM, then you should find out a appropriate instance type, right? For example, uh, you can just let's say in, in my case, if I need two virtual CPUs and four GB of RAM, we can select the TT dot medium, or if you need something else, you can always go ahead and select see here P6A dot metal, which is giving me 192 virtual CPUs and 384 GB of RAM. This is IN1. So, but I have I have the instance already, and I I should modify or I should you know enhance the configuration of this particular machine only instead of creation of new one. How to do that? It is possible to scale up and scale down. It is possible to scale up and scale down the memory and virtual CPU. Please understand. I can always go ahead and increase the number of virtual CPUs and the RAM capacity by selecting the different uh, instance type. How to select the different instance type? Just select the instance, come to actions, come to instance state. Uh, we should see change instance state. This is not uh, enabled because the system is in running state. So in order to make use of that, I should stop the instance so whenever you want to change our RAM capacity or instance uh, type changes, we must stop our machine. Then I should be able to see these options. Stop. This is stop. So as soon as this machine is in stop condition, then I should be able to uh, see this particular option so that I'll be able to do some modifications on the instance type. Let us wait for uh, two more seconds.
Same. Let me create another one. Let's take some uh, as we have triggered some alarm. Maybe because of that, uh, it's taking some time. Let me just quickly create a. I think some issues with the alarm, so I should stop the alarm. But uh, meantime, let it come to active state, and we'll stop this particular one, and we should we should be able to change the uh, instance size. So which means we we are increasing the hardware capacity, correct? So that's what we are doing, right? So previously we were having one virtual CPU and one uh, DDF RAM. Now we are trying to uh, increase the capacity of our hardware, right? So that can be done. So now it is top state. Let me stop this one. I think yeah. Now it is top. Let's see. If you can if you still see the option of change instance. See, please observe here. See the first instance itself is working now. So it was just maybe due to some alarm issue. Now in order to change this one, I should come to action. Click on instance setting. And select the change instance type. Now, instead of t2.micro, you can select the whatever you want. So please be cautious while selecting these instance types. If these, these are all chargeable. Just to see that, just I'll just mention t2.small. T2.micro. Just to see that, I'll just mention t2.small. T2.medium. So if I just select this t2.medium, what will happen? So there will be some increase of. Oh, see, it has changed to t2. Dot medium. And again, can we revert back this one? Yes, that is also possible. Again, go back to action, instance state, and change instance state. And if you want, you can always. Uh, what I'm trying to say, you can scale up and you can scale down as well. So for some scenarios, you may feel that okay, for some at least for some uh, months, you can go ahead and use T2 dot micro, and for probably for next two months, yeah, probably you may go ahead and uh, select T2 dot uh, medium or whatever the instance. So which means scaling, I mean upscaling and downscaling is possible with respect to instance size. Whereas EBS, then we say. See for this particular machine, for this particular machine, right? There is a volume gets created that can be seen under volumes, correct? So there will be multiple volumes which will be created. How, how exactly you can identify this particular volume belongs to where? See here you can see the instance ID. For example, if I have to, this is what is the default one. So have a 8 GB of uh, hard disk. Now, if I have to increase it to 10, it is possible. But once you increase it, you cannot reduce it. Which means the when you come to EBS volume, upscaling is possible, downscaling is not possible. For example, now this is the this particular volume. Which volume is that? This is the Linux machine which I have created, right? So here I'm trying to increase the volume. So I have an option of modify. Volume selected. Instead of eight, you can make it to ten. Modify, modify. I am able to modify this volume from uh, eight to ten. See, you can see this particular volume got changed of the instance Linux instance. It got changed. Now I cannot immediately modify. Please understand. Uh, this option will be enabled after six hours, right? After every six hours, we can modify the volume. But after six hours, if you again, this option will be enabled. And while modifying, if you try to give less than 10, if you, uh, for example, if you give uh, 9 GB or 8 GB, then it will not allow. Do you see my point? So these instance of uh, the volumes 
डाउन स्केलिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल ओके यू कैन ऑलवेज एक्सपैंड द रूट एंड यूज वॉल्यूम्स वंस इन सिक्स आवर्स पीरियड बट वी कॉन्ट रिड्यूज द हार्ड डिस्क वॉल्यूम राइट ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट स्केल ऑफ एंड स्केल ऑफ इन शॉर्ट वॉट लेट्स समराइज we can increase or we can decrease the uh, instance type what exact instance type refer so we may increase and increase ram capacity and virtual cpus one but we cannot i mean uh, coming to ebs volumes we can always increase the volume size whereas we cannot come down or we cannot scale down the volume which we have already attached so you must be you must be very much cautious while you know performing this activity okay any questions here any other questions here so this is about the instance one 